The conifers are cone-bearing seed plants with woody stems. There are a lot of different groups within the conifers. Sometimes it's referred to the pinophyta. A lot of times we say, think conifer, think pine tree, or think Christmas tree, because that's kind of what they look like. When we look at them, orders, we have the pinales. And the pinales are going to be your standard pine tree-like plant. This is a longleaf pine. It produces the standard type needles. When the tree starts to grow in the spring, it often sprouts the needles forward like this, and often we call that candling because they look like little candles sticking out of the top of the tree or out of the top of the branch. The needles get to grow much larger in size. We call these evergreens because they always have needles on them. And when you're dealing with an evergreen like this, basically what happens is the needles come out one year, they last that entire year, they last the year after, and then they fall off. So you've always got one set of needles that are a year old at the end of the year. Therefore, the plants are always green. The cones, when they are produced, look like this. These are going to be the female cones or the ovulate cones. These will end up growing up into the larger size pine cone that we see. These are the male cones or the pollen cones. They produce a lot of pollen, and it can really mess up your car as far as color goes but they are rather unique. The cone, when it fertilizes, increases in size. Eventually, it gets to be like this. When it ages, it will open up and release the seeds out of the inside. Sometimes we have animals like squirrels that come in, and they help this whole process by pulling the seeds out. We have the Aracariales. This includes things like the monkey puzzle tree. This is a tree that's native of South America, and you can see it has a very long, thin trunk going up. The leaves are actually clusters of little needles that come out on it, and you can see in this particular one, these clusters, they almost look like a branch sort of thing. As the tree ages, these will actually drop off in large groups. So they are quite interesting. This particular one produces this rather large cone. And when I say rather large cone, this one was sitting on a plate that is about 8 inches in diameter, about 20 centimeters. So it is quite large. You can see the individual pieces coming off on the inside. If you take these, they are actually collected and sold as a food source. You take them and you roast them up or you boil them, and they are quite tasty. We have the Podocarpaceae. Podocarpus is a little bit different in that it has kind of like what we would consider to be a regular type leaf, but when you look at it, it does not have net-like veins. It's got parallel veins. It is not a monocot because it's got a woody type stem. These produce little cones that look like this. This is the ovulate cone. The ovule is the little thing at the end. Below that is kind of a fleshy receptacle that actually increases in color. It helps other organisms come in and collect them. The staminate cones look like this, and they produce pollen, but they don't produce large amounts of pollen. As the cones mature, again, they develop this colorful format, and that helps birds and other things find them. They take the whole thing. They eat the fleshy part at the bottom of it, and let the seed go. This is a, another type of Podocarpus. This is Nagy. You can see that this is rather a magnificent large plant, and they are of interest. The leaves on the Nagy look like this. They are kind of oval, but you can see that they have very distinct and definite parallel leaf veins. Another group is the Cupressales. This includes things like this plant, which is the bald cypress. The bald cypress is a very interesting plant because it's actually deciduous, which means it drops its leaves at the end of the year. It has an interesting fall color. You can see the, the reddish browns on this right before it's going to drop its leaves. The wintertime foliage drops off, and these entire segments are leaves and they will drop off. In the springtime, you will get the production of the cones and the cones start out very small like this. You can see how they're kind of scaly. The staminate cones look like this and they produce the pollen. The cones as they begin to mature look like this. They are almost large marble size, getting close to two centimeters, almost an inch in diameter. As they age, they will kind of fall apart, and as they fall apart, they will release the seeds out of the inside. The Cupressales also includes things like the China fir. The China fir is a very interesting plant. Again, it is an evergreen. 
it tends to grow in a cluster because it's constantly producing little suckers out of the bottom of it. There are two types of cones. On the right hand side you can see the female ovulate cone. On the left hand side of it you can see the male staminate cone. And the staminate cone produces a lot of pollen. This is a pollen cone again as it's beginning its release of pollen. After a year or so the Ovulate cones look like this. They dry up and they release the seeds from the inside. So when we look at the conifers, a lot of variation in what are called conifers. Most of them are going to be evergreen in nature. A lot of them look like Christmas trees. Some of them vary a little bit from that in their format. 